Carozen. Carozen is the nature of tendency of conversion of metal into its mineral compound form on interaction with environment what that is water and air in air mainly oxygen is known as oxygen so that is called corrosion it mean when a metal any metal generally we are discussing in this concept is iron iron interact with the atmosphere in that oxygen and water then this will convert into its mineral form it mean pure form convert into mineral form that is called corrosion so corrosion is corrosion of metal slowly coats the surface of metallic objects with oxide or other salts of the metal now you observe in general in our day to day life iron actually pure metal bar and there some a reddish color or orange reddish color one compound is coat on the metal surface that is its mineral form so the corrosion of metal slowly coats the surface of metallic object with its oxide which oxide that is iron oxide that is called corrosion corrosion of iron that is called rusting this rusting formed by iron oxide will be coated to the metal bar so which object is coated with which one metal oxide so now this oxide will be coated to the iron that is only rust now another metal corrosion of silver is called tarnishing this will be coated with a oxide or sulfide this is a silver sulfide that's why you can see here in this metallic object with oxide or with the uh, other salts of the metal so this is one salt silver sulfide iron oxide so iron oxide formula is f e2 o3 dot en h2 or x h2 this silver sulfide ag2 yes this is a black color compound next one development of a green coating on copper metal that is copper carbonate that is also known as malachite malachite actual formula is copper carbonate and copper hydroxide that is called malachite so some metal corrosion names are there that is called iron corrode that is called rusting silver corrode that is called tarnishing and their how they are corroded mean how they are coated with the their oxide or with the other salt form of the metal so iron is coated with the iron oxide silver is coated with the silver sulfide copper is coated with the copper carbonate now corrosion of iron is quite complex this mechanism is quite complex but also we'll try to explain how this metal will be corroded generally this diagram is very important now this is called a metal bar this is iron metal bar now on this metal bar any one of the place particularly anywhere for example this is a position at this metal undergo oxidation where the oxidation takes place that is called anode 
now two electron so this part is called anode region now this electron will travel in anywhere in the metal bar and goes in somewhere for example this is actually four electron required for next reaction that's why it is multiply with the two two then two into two four this four electron and here oxygen from the atmosphere this is the oxygen and here this will be a water droplets so actually in books it is shown that this place is little loss reason because iron is convert into now which one eh? iron plus two form so that loss of iron that is called pit or dent what you can say word this is called pit or dent form so in this what is present water this i can read somewhat a better form So now this I will write up to here. Then why I am writing here mean in this water we have H plus water gives which one H plus. So this H plus ion this oxygen ion electron combined to form which one here they form H two O. This I will give in the form of equation also. Now keep in mind how many H places are required here? Four H places required, and one oxygen, four electron. All these combined to form which one? Two H two O. So now just keep in mind what is mechanism happening. Separate reaction I will give at cathode and anode. So totally what is form of this is H two O form of. Now this H two O. react and this fe plus 2 which one this fe plus 2 further move for example moving to here and this fe plus 2 and again further oxidize to form iron oxide in presence of oxygen in water so now outside oxygen that is outside keep in mind oxygen always is the near to the water droplet and next one this oxygen and iron plus again water that is for example nh2o these all combine to form these all three combine to form which one that will form fe2o3 dot n consider n or x consider x n h two o so this will be formed as a rust so this part is called anode region and this part is called cathode region this is a galvanic cell now this is nothing but a electrochemical cell electrochemical cell meaning what is that it may be galvanic cell or it may be electrolytic cell a spontaneous redox reaction is occurring in this is a one galvanic cell now these anode and cathodes are physically separated by through a external circuit that external circuit nothing but transfer of electron like this so keep in mind in a metal bar anywhere one of the part will be act as anode and that electron transfer throughout the metal somewhere it gives that is uh, electron taken mean that is reduction so reduction reaction takes place h plus and oxygen convert into h2o and this 
एफ ई प्लस कन्वर्ट इन टू एफ ई कन्वर्ट एफ ई प्लस टू फर्दर ऑक्सीडेज इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड फॉर्म एफ ई टू ओ थ्री दिस मेकानिजम आई विल गिव इन ए प्रॉपर मैन नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट इज नाउ दो नॉट अंडरस्टैंड विद दैट वॉट आई ड्रॉन डायग्राम इन द टेक्सट बुक डायग्राम दिस पार्ट is a iron and this is a corroded part this will be given as a mechanism iron ball now one of this place is called anodic region iron is connected to iron plus to four electron this will be traveled here and this four electron four h plus in presence of oxygen oxygen is always the adjacent to the water molecule then this will be from which one h2 now this fe converted fe plus 2 further travel into this water molecule fe plus 2 converted into fe plus 3 form here this is in the fe plus 3 form so now this fe plus 2 again this with water droplets outside oxygen convert into this fe to o3 rust so this is a, a clear mechanism about the iron and this is called pit or a dent like this loss iron see this is indicating loss of iron that is called what do you call pit or a dent now we will discuss about the how this reaction takes place at anode and cathode at anode at anode at anode which reaction takes place oxidation so now 2 fe further convert into 2 fe plus 2 plus 1 fe loss 2 electron 2 fe loss total 2 plus 2 4 electron that is called oxidation now at cathode at cathode which reaction takes place that is called reduction now at reduction what is present oxygen from the atmosphere and this water gives a h plus and this electron from the anode region travel to at cathode region then this should be 4 plus required here this will be convert into 2 h2o so this electrode potential value e not reduction potential you can check in your textbook that is minus 0.44 volt another way i will remove and write clearly this is called oxidation so its reduction potential value is minus 0.44 volt that is oxidation now at this reduction this electrode potential value is standard reduction potential value 1.23 volt this is called reduction so now the overall reaction is but keep in mind this h plus h plus is produced from water or carbonic acid after overall reaction i will give now this is four electron four electron cancel sorry this four electron cancel now we can write this is 2 fe plus o2 and 4h plus gives rise to 2 fe plus 2 convert into 2h plus 2h2 this is a overall reaction this overall reaction cell potential is now rhs minus lhs rhs this one and this is lhs therefore now 1.23 volt uh, minus and minus 0 0.44 volt then minus into minus plus this will be added then we will get how much this is that will be 1.23 and 0.44 means 7 this is 
1.67 so 1.67 volt now this h plus this h plus is produced from h2o gives this h plus plus o h minus 1 way otherwise in atmosphere carbon dioxide and water both react to gives which one carbonic acid this carbonic acid ion is into h plus plus hco3 minus not only this one any acidic oxide acidic oxide react with the water they form acids so that acids will give the h plus so this h plus only the main part to convert the iron into iron oxide nothing but act as a catalyst so i will explain this is as a catalyst act in this reaction important for computer level in corrosion of iron which is a catalyst mean iron now this iron 2 f e plus 2 further oxidized with oxygen plus 2 plus n moles of water then this will be converted into fe2o3 dot n h2o plus 4 h plus this is balanced or not we'll check here now carefully observe how many fe are there 2 therefore 2 fe balanced and oxygens are nh2 mean no2 no2 balance and here three oxygens are there mean two oxygens and here one we can make that is called half h2 it mean in one mole half mean one total half h2 then it is oxygen balanced now hydrogen nh2 therefore nh2 balance and 2h2 mean 4 therefore 4 balance left side 2 charges are there 2 into 2 4 then here also 4 is the balance so this is an equation so once again i am writing this equation that is 2fe plus 2 plus half o2 plus 2 plus n h2o this will be converted into fe2o3 dot n h2o plus 4 h plus this equation and the first equation the first equation this is the second equation first equation already we know overall reaction that is 2 f e plus o2 and plus 4 h plus and convert into 2 f e plus 2 and plus 2 h2 this is a first equation now we will get one overall equation that one is this 4 h plus 4 h plus cancel and 2 h 2 o cancel in this 2 h 2 o will be cancel next any other cancel fe plus 2 fe plus 2 cancel therefore the final equation is 2 fe 1 o2 plus half o2 that is 3 by 2 o2 that is 1.5 this is 1 and that is half 1.5 plus n h2 o now this n h2 o because 2 h2 o already cancelled this will be converted into f e2 o3 dot n h2 o now keep in mind in this reaction in this reaction which is catalyst h plus h plus 
initially h plus is used in to get the overall reaction of this one and final equation this is final so anyway how much h plus used that much h plus is formed in finally therefore h plus is a catalyst for this reaction so this is a, a complete equation for rust formation so this much will be given in our textbook which one this first equation so in second equation given textbook is fe plus 2 further oxidize into fe plus 3 in presence of oxygen and convert into iron oxide so how this converted iron oxide mean this is the equation so now this corrosion takes place corrosion quickly takes place in in which which medium first of all you have to remember corrosion takes place in oxygen and water both together required both required to corrosion only oxygen or only h2o present meaning corrosion do not take place next corrosion quickly takes quickly takes place in ionic solution that is called salt solution because quickly takes place in ionic solution because of reason the conductance will be increases next one corrosion quickly takes place in low ph medium low ph meaning a high h plus n concentration high h plus n concentration when h plus n concentration increases corrosion already increase that shown in the reaction and one more thing is this corrosion takes place quickly takes place when iron is contact iron contact with less active metal like copper stannous than iron because that time iron is more active and copper and stannous are less active therefore iron only fastly react with the oxygen and h plus therefore that is also easy to corrode next one how to prevent that corrosion so now prevention of corrosion why to prevent this corrosion because many buildings or bridges are constructed by using this iron if it is corroded then the buildings or bridges are collapsed and it gives a, a loss of money to to save the money we have to protect the corrosion so how to protect this corrosion meaning the first point is we have to prevent the contact of oxygen and water to the metal surface so prevent the metal surface to contact with oxygen and water that is atmosphere we have to keep away that is not possible that's why we can try coat the metal or paint by painting how to prevent this metal surface 
with contact with the oxygen and water mean by painting or by using some chemical that is called bisphenol is a chemical name next third one by making into alloys then fourth one same already told you know, this metal iron metal metal contact or coated we can say that is coated metal coated with metals like stannous zinc so here two types are there one is this is a metal iron this is coated with stannous then what happened now this stannous is less active therefore uh, what do you call that is it takes time to react with the atmospheric oxygen and water therefore it takes time to corrode this is one way another one this is a iron iron bar if it is coated with the zinc then what happens zinc is more active than iron based on the electrode potential value therefore iron will uh, zinc will be react zinc react and convert into zinc plus two plus two electron and it form further zinc oxide which protects the iron so this is called galvanizing so protection of the metal with the zinc that is called galvanization also here zinc as a act as sacrificial metal it means it sacrifices its life for other metal that is called sacrificial anode to, and it protect the iron so keep in mind it is two type we can protect with the less active and more active element so therefore in less active metal iron will be protected more easily than the less active metal that also i will show you here and one more thing this less active metals are like zinc metal i uh, sorry magnesium or any etc with the lower value in reduction potential are easily protect the iron because they first react and form their oxide they protect themselves and also the iron metal so this is called cathodic protection this word uses what you call cathodic protection what is the cathodic protection mean these are act as anode and iron act as a cathode then cathode is protected by more active element like zinc and magnesium but in this case iron act as anode and this will be act as cathode these are based on electrode potential values. The stannous electrode potential value is minus 0.14 volt standard reduction potential value. Iron value already we know minus 0.44 volt. This is the lower value and this is the higher value. Higher value act as a cathode, lower value act as a anode. So zinc value already we know. So zinc electrode potential is minus 0.76 volt and magnesium electrode potential also known that is called minus 2.36. So these values are compared with the iron lower therefore these are act as a anode. Now this iron bar is contact with which one copper copper electrode potential value we know that 
it is 0.34 volt now iron value we know that minus 0.44 volt therefore it act as a anode and this will be act as a cathode now which is first react here iron react because iron is more active that's why compare with fe gives electron to cathode copper therefore iron will form a pit or dent but if you take another one here zinc is coated with the uh, zinc is coated to iron therefore this zinc value we know that how much zinc value zinc value we know minus 0 0.76 volt iron value we know that minus 0 0.44 volt then which will be act as a anode zinc act as a anode this will be act as a cathode therefore zinc first react and form its oxide and protects the cathode that is iron zinc gives of electron to the fe cathode so this is called cathodic protection this is enhanced corrosion mean iron corrosion increase when contact with the inactive or less active because this is not that much reactive in metals lower electrode potential values are more reactive and higher protection values are less reactive so therefore here it is a more active zinc will be corroded than the iron and one more way to protection of this iron is that is called passive or passivity for example this iron rod dipped into the concentrated hno3 then what will happen here first it react and form a iron oxide fe2o3 initially form around this metal rod one oxide layer this is an oxide layer so this oxide layer further protect the corrosion so totally what are the uh, ways to protect the corrosion one is keep away to the oxygen or and water second one by painting or using chemicals third one coated with active metals like zinc and magnesium but less active metals also used copper and stannous but this protection is less this is more but one more word only zinc used in that is called galvanization next by what do you call that is passive and making alloys so these are the way to protect the iron i hope you understood all these things why we have to protect meaning every year we are losing so many lives because of the corroded element this metal and the bridges or buildings are collapsed and ships are made with the iron that also may corrode therefore the ships the underground part is coated with which one zinc or that less active um, more active metal with the lower electrode potential first they uh, itself they react and form oxide they protect themselves and also protect the iron this is very important i hope everyone understood